right guys, so I am packing for LA. I'm not leaving until Wednesday, but I wanna start packing now because I have a lot of stuff that I need to bring. Um, I actually might go get a new suitcase because all I have is like a small one and then like a humongous one. I don't have like a mi like medium sized one and I feel like that's what I need. But um, yeah, I haven't talked about why I'm going yet. So I'm going for a video shoot that I'm doing with Nivea and I just tried one of their products. I've been probably using it for about two months now and I've been really liking it and so they wanted me to come down and shoot a video with them. And I'm really, really, really excited to do it because A, I really like the product that they're promoting. It's been working really great for me. But two, um, they're letting me kind of have full reins on the video. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like a lot of people think that if you do a video with a company that you're not, it's not your ideas. It's not your, um, you know, you're just kind of like in the video to promote it. But that's not really how it works. Um, so basically this video that I'm going to be doing is you know, ideas for like tips for getting ready quickly or like time saving tips for like getting ready in the morning, you know? So all the ideas that I've come up with for this video are my ideas. Basically what they're doing is they're just kind of helping me film a really high quality video. Um, and I'll be talking a little bit about the product that I've been using a lot, um, just because it is a time saving product. But the video is all me, like it's my ideas. Um, I wrote the script for it. I wrote, um, you know, what, all the different things. It's basically my video idea. It's just, you know, the company's helping me film it and all that kind of thing. So uh, I think a lot of people aren't really sure how it works or they see sponsored videos and they think it's just, um, you know, for the money or just to get paid or, you know, we're just in the video to be in the video. It's not even our ideas, but I have to pack a bunch of stuff. So one of my video ideas is talking about white t-shirts, which I'm not gonna explain too much, but I have to pack every single one of my white t-shirts. So they wanted me to bring like 10 t-shirts. So I'm gonna do that. And then just a bunch of other stuff that I have to bring. So I'm gonna start packing now because I feel like I'm kind of getting stressed. Like, you know when you have a lot on your mind, like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do this. And you keep putting it off. So I feel like I just need to start packing and focusing on it now. Otherwise I'm gonna get like really stressed out. So. Okay, you guys, I, uh, so I'm flying to LA right now. I'm attempting to fly to LA right now. And I literally think I'm going to go crazy. Do you guys remember my last trip to LA, how of a he much of a headache it was? Well, it happened again. Exactly the same, well, not exactly the same, but basically my flight got canceled to Portland because I was gonna fly to Portland to LA. And that flight got canceled and I was never told. Great. So, I was like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to find another flight. Well, every single flight was booked. Every single flight was booked. <sighs> so there was basically absolutely no way for me to get to LA tonight, none. And I'm like, what the hell am I gonna do? So now I'm driving to Portland, which is a three hour drive. And somehow my, network got me on a flight from Portland to San Francisco, from San Francisco to LA, and I will be getting in at like 12, which means I probably won't be going to bed until like 1, and my shoot is at 7 o'clock in the morning. Hi guys, so I'm sorry I haven't filmed at all today. Um, I literally <laughs> got home, or got here at like, I need to open this at like, it's dark out still. Um, two in the morning, well no, like 1.30 in the morning. And like the second I got here, I was like, I am going to sleep. So I got in bed, but um, I did my hair and then I went to bed and then I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to vlog. Like it was a crazy day yesterday after all the traveling and my dad drove me actually to the airport so I wouldn't have to drive myself back because I have a flight from Portland back to where I live. And so I wasn't, I didn't want to um, have to drive. So he dropped me off and everything ended up working out fine but yeah, I didn't get in until like 1.30 in the morning. So today is the shoot day and it's gonna be super fun. 
Um, it's probably going to be a fairly long day, at least that's what it looks like on the call sheet, I think. So, I might not be done until like 8 tonight. So, and then I have to leave at 8.30 in the morning, so. I have to finish getting ready and um, I will see you guys there. Alright guys, so here is the makeup artist's supplies. <laughs> it's amazing. She has so much stuff. I love it. And this is where we're shooting our next little gig. Yeah. My hair. Sorry. <laughs> right in here. They're getting everything set up. And I'll show you guys downstairs. And we just lightened up my makeup. I had really nice, like, dark wing eyeliner and stuff, but now we're doing, like, a, you know, a night scene, so my makeup's lighter. And here's everybody working. <laughs> Alright guys, so I look like a crazy person right now. Excuse the hair. I just realized I left my brush. I don't know what happened to my brush. It disappeared at the shoot. And it was the only brush that I brought. I'm just fabulous. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to go down to like the gift shop or something to see if there's something I can use. But I just ordered room service. I'm getting a cheeseburger. And you guys, I dropped my phone. And the makeup artist at the shoot, they hired a makeup artist, which is really fun because I haven't gotten my makeup done. Like, I don't even remember the last time I got my makeup done, honestly. It's been so long. And it was really fun because, oh, I found it! Ah, yay! I literally thought I lost this. And this is my favorite brush, you know, the shine brush that I was telling you guys about? I'm so glad I found it. But anyways, so the makeup artist dropped her phone on set today and it broke all over the place, well not all over the place, but it like shattered, like the screen shattered and I was like, oh, I'm sorry, and we were talking about it for a while and I was like, I've never broken an iPhone before, I'm like so proud of myself. I'm like, I'm surprised I haven't broken an iPhone yet, but I haven't. And then today, um, I got out of the car to take a picture of the palm trees and sure enough, I dropped my phone and it broke. It didn't shatter, but like, the screen turned blue and then it turned to black and then it just died. I'm like really like it has to die while I'm in California so I'm trying to update my my iPad because I haven't updated my iPad in forever and I wanted to be able to FaceTime Travis or at least talk to him and let him know why I'm not answering my phone um, luckily I did bring my iPad because I don't really use my iPad all that often and um, I was like I'm just gonna bring it just in case you know and I'm glad I brought it otherwise I would not be able to get in contact with Travis so um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get ready for dinner, and I'm going to go get on Facebook and just kind of relax for a while. Um, it was a really fun day. I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog more. It's so hard to vlog on days like that because you're just so busy, like, doing stuff, and, like, literally my mind was not there. It was kind of on the shoot we were doing, and but I tried to vlog a little bit, and I hope you guys enjoyed what I did get. home and we're playing with this thing and Emery's pushing it. Look. Yeah. Good girl. Go turn it around. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know if you want to go on the hard floor. It might slip out from under you. <laughs> yeah. Good job. I remember when Elena used to do that. I think I have a video of that. Oh my goodness gracious. That's a big thing. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm opening up my Ipsy bag and I'm so excited because I got something that I've been wanting forever. I got the Chella highlighter crayon and I've seen people use this in videos before and it looks so awesome. Sorry, it's not focusing. <laughs> um, but it's just a highlighting cr like crayon, like jumbo crayon. And I always thought it looked so cool and I was I never got it in my bag. Like Every time they would give something that was Chella in my bag, I wouldn't get this. So finally I got it, and I'm so happy because I've been wanting this forever. And then I also got something 
really cool. I got some Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels, and I love using like um, sheet masks and things like that. I always use them at night when I'm like on my computer editing or whatever, or just like watching videos. So these are gonna be really fun because I'll be able to just throw them under my eyes while I'm like getting ready or at night when I'm just kind of chilling. And then this is the most beautiful lipstick from NYX ever. Like you guys can see the swatch on my hand right there. It's just like a really pretty mauve color. And look at that, how pretty is that color? So gorgeous. And then a day cream. This is good for your skin. Is this for face? Yeah, this is a face cream. So this is a good like travel bag thing. I love getting like these little travel skin cares because I hate packing like my huge skincare stuff when I travel. So I love getting these kinds of things for travel. And then a pixie little eye duo and it's a dark brown and like a gold champagne color. So this was a really, 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 really good Ipsy bag. This is probably the best Ipsy bag I have ever gotten. Um, I was almost on the verge of not continuing my Ipsy service, but I really like this one. This is probably the best one I've ever gotten since I've been subscribed to Ipsy, which has been like a year and a half probably. So excellent job this time, Ipsy. Check out this bag too. I love getting the bags because I always use them for travel, whether I put my like charges in them or like my sketching pencils or jewelry or anything. Like I use these bags so much and when I travel, I probably use like four of them. So I always keep them. Um, and I have like a hundred of these bags, but this one is so cute. I love it. This is, Sorry, not Ipsy, Boxy Charm. Can you see Boxy Charm? Boxy Charm. I love Boxy Charm. It's like my favorite. However, my Ipsy was pretty dang good this month. So, and I also asked on Twitter if you guys would want to see these videos maybe on my main channel every once in a while, like Boxy Charm unboxings rather than on my vlog channel. On my vlog channel, they tend to be more relaxed, which I think is um, nice. Um, not saying that I'm not relaxed on my beauty channel, but you know. It's different, you know, editing and all that kind of thing. So first thing is this beautiful nail polish. This is a really pretty color. This is LVX Latin Light, and this is cruelty-free and vegan, for those of you who are really into cruelty-free products. And it's the brand LVX. And this is the most beautiful coral pink, like pastel pink. This is like, it's, oh, the cap just came off. Um, that kind of sucks, but I love these kind of colors, you guys. This is what I like to wear on my nails because as you guys know, I always have really crappy looking nail polish because I always like chew on my nails and it's a horrible habit and I can't help it. Well, I can't help it if I really wanted to help it, but um, this is the kind of color I like to wear because it doesn't look as noticeable when I like bite it off. Um, and it's really springy. This is a really, really pretty color. I'm like digging this color right now. All right, next is a lip or no, this is a eyeliner. This is Ofra, and I actually have this eyeliner in black. I actually got it in, I think, another BoxyCharm bag, and it's an okay eyeliner. Like, it works really well in my waterline. I've tried eyeliners that I like a little bit better, um, but this still works, and I think I've used the black one, like, down to about here. So I definitely used, like, a decent amount of it. So this is a brown one. I don't use brown eyeliner that often, but I actually kinda wanna test it out and see how I like brown eyeliner. Before I actually started YouTube, I used to wear brown eyeliner every day, like that's all I wore, especially in like the waterline. I wore um, dark brown instead of black and I always really liked it. So maybe I'll try that again and see how I like it. Okay, next is Oscar Blandy Hair Lift. This is thickening and strengthening mousse. Now I don't really use mousse that often because I don't blow dry my hair. So who knows how often I'm gonna use that, but oh well. And then Tarte Lip Surgeons. These are awesome. I actually got another one of these in another bag of mine. I think it was Ipsy a while ago. And it was the coral one. And this is just a pink one in Charmed. And it's a really, Mom, really pale, a really pale pink. Swatch it on your hand. Isn't that pretty? It's just a pale pink, really good spring color, like an everyday color you could wear with like a smoky eye or like winged eyeliner or something really simple, which these colors are always nice to have in your collection because these are the kind of lip colors that you seem to pull for every day. So that I'm sure I'm going to use a ton. Um, what is this? This is Previse Skin Type 1 through 6. Oil-free, tonic infused with antioxidant rich daisy flower extract and hyaluronic acid to help lighten and brighten the skin. Oh, and that is so cool. You guys, so I lately, I've mentioned this I think in a few videos, I've noticed aging in my skin, 
lately. And um, especially on my cheekbones, I'm starting to get like a little bit of freckling, which doesn't bother me. I mean, a lot of people have freckles, and I actually think freckles are really cute, but I've never had freckles before, ever in my whole entire life. But as I've gotten older, um, I've started to notice freckling and just a little bit of aging in the skin. And it just happens to everybody when you hit my age. I'm 29, and it's just going to happen. And I've worn sunscreen every single day, like my whole entire life, on my face. It's just something that I've always worn on my skin. So I've always protected my skin. I just have noticed aging. So this is gonna be awesome, and I'm gonna use this all the time. I'm like actually really, really, really excited for this because who doesn't want to help lighten and brighten their skin? Like, totally. That's awesome. What? Can you put on this on my nails? Oh, you want this on your nails? I'm gonna paint Elena's nails. Okay, let it dry. Don't be touching anything. Remember, you can blow on it. So the girls are dressed as what today? What are you guys dressed as? Sisters. Sisters? Emily's a sister and I'm a sister. They both have their little heart shirts on, their gray heart shirts. Emery, look. And Hi! Shirt on mine. Let me see. Hey, come here and sit by her and we, I can take a picture. But she's the head strength for this. No, she's not because I'm sitting right here and if she does, then I'll fix it. So come here. Mom. She's okay. She's got eat that. She is okay, you need to calm down. No. Thank you for saving her life. So, we are headed out to lunch. It's kind of raining today. Yesterday we went to look at kitties and puppies at the Humane Society, and I forgot my camera yesterday, which sucked, but there was this white cat with brown and black spots on it named Hallie. Do you remember how late yesterday? Yeah, I liked her too. Soft. Yeah, she was. Buggy really liked Holly and she really wanted her and she said she was super soft. Would you have taken Holly home? Yeah, you liked her. She was really nice. Euchre's is such a good kitty though. I don't know if we'd want to do that to her. I know. Yuki is like our baby now. It's like I don't want to make her sad bringing in another cat. Like even today, she just called up on me and wanted some love. Long get you girls, a brother and a sister. They didn't have a lot of pets though. Because every time you go in there, you're like, oh, I just wish I could help. And then, I know. But you can't. And I wish I could go in there too and just like pet the animals. Or at least. Well, I thought it was cute though. That when we were in there, there was a, a dad who was probably 40s, yeah. mid 40s, and his daughter was in there and they were volunteering together. Yeah, and they would just go in the rooms with the cats and pet them and stuff. Yeah, I thought that, that was, was cute. cute. But a dad would do that with his daughter. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> So, you haven't even eaten your sandwich yet. Yeah, I need more sandwich. So, yesterday we took Emery and Elena to Bogey's. And Emery's getting to an age now where she can eat like regular people food, you know? And so we got Emery her own grilled cheese. And the grilled cheese sandwiches there are pretty decent sized. What do you think? Yeah. It's like a full piece of bread. Like two, two full, full yeah. pieces of bread. And she ate the whole entire Well, not bit. the crust. Well, some of the crusts. But yeah, I mean, it was like a full sandwich. Like, she ate that whole entire thing. You're fine. You want this? She's just going to knock all this off. But anyways, yeah, she ate a whole entire... Grilled uh, cheese. Grilled cheese. And then today, we, instead of getting like a four-inch sandwich, we got her a six-inch so Emery could have some. So we're getting to this age where we have to start getting Emery food too. It's not just like cheesy all the time. Has she had pickle before? No. Do you like that? Is that kind of weird? Just as much as the next red one in America. I don't know what I want to smell like. All right, guys. So that's it for the vlog for today. We are. I didn't film too much this weekend because I figured I had some footage from you know LA. I mean, not that much. I'll be honest, but. I know I had some. For some reason I found that it's hard to vlog on work trips and I'm not sure why. Like I always feel like when I went like on the Johnson's trip or the um, Nivea trip that I just had, ow, just freaking pinched my hand. Um, it's hard for me to film and I can't figure out why because I always feel like I really want to film. But it's hard for like, it's just hard for me to like find the time for some reason or just to like even think about it. I feel like my mind is like constantly thinking about other things on those kinds of trips but maybe that's just an excuse probably is 
Um, anyways, that's it for the vlog. I hope you guys liked it. Um, Buggy's gonna go to bed here soon. They both took later naps because um, we were out all day. We went to Travis's parents' house and hung out for a while, which was fun. And we went to lunch. What else did we do today? Can't even remember. Um, Emery, you guys, knocked over my diva light. This is the light that I used to film. It's like a ring light right here. And it's broken. We had to take the light bulb out. So I had to order one on Amazon. So hopefully it comes soon because I'm going to need to film and I'm kind of worried. But Amazon's always so good with shipping. I'm sure it'll be here like in no time. But this is what I'll have to use and it hardly gives off any light. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do. But anyways, Travis is filming video. Furball. Furball creations, which I, I, these are some of my favorite things that he draws. They're cute and they turn out really cute. Looks mm -hmm. like it's going to be like a bunny. Yeah, sort of. Or a dog. Kind of, kind of. You haven't bunny. done a, oh, you've done a cat one, right? You should do Yuki as a furball creation. Wow. Well, I already did a cat one. I just like to draw them. I always give Travis ideas and he's always like, oh, no. I don't like other people's ideas. I know you don't. <laughs> no, I mean. He I, just draws what he wants to draw, I which don't. I totally think is awesome that he doesn't feel the pressure to draw what other people well, want him to draw. Like I've said in my videos, like, the reason I draw is uh, the entertainment I get out of it is from my head, not, like, just drawing. Yeah, like, like you enjoy, funny. that's what you enjoy about drawing, is yeah. coming up with the ideas. That's the idea, that's the fun part, you know? Alright, well, I'm gonna call this vlog a finished one, so talk to you guys later.